especially if you're in a vulnerable population, you need to know how to use awareness to keep yourself out of danger. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Malaysia. Here we're going to see a woman who wanders into a lonely area and is targeted by a purse thief. So we see the woman in the middle of the street there and she's heading back to her car. He's gonna see that guy get out there and recognize that's uh, the, the left side of the car is the passenger side in Malaysia. This guy's getting out and he's kind of paying attention to her a little bit. And as she's getting back to her car, she's not paying attention to a whole lot that's not her. And so she's kind of digging around for her keys and getting to her car and he is gonna use that as an opportunity here. He's gonna run up around the outside of her and reach around and snatch her purse, which she doesn't really wanna give up, but that's gonna get her thumped into the ground pretty hard. Now they are going to uh, jump in the car here and run off and notice that she is laying there on the sidewalk. Now this guy on the moto has seen all this go down and now he's kind of coming up. I've sped it up for the sake of time and he's just going to kind of pull over and look and kind of watch and a bunch of cars are going to drive by with this woman who is sitting there in a ditch having just been significantly victimized. In fact, she's going to roll over into the ditch and that's where this one ends. Boy, it happens just that fast. If you appreciate the lessons that you get here every day at Active Self Protection, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a lesson. In this one, I wanna talk about a couple of important things, including being a part of a vulnerable population, about how awareness can buy you time and options, and why isolated areas can be as dangerous as transitional spaces. Now, let's think about, first of all, this transitional space that she's in. Now, here what we're talking about is this is a desolate space. Now, there's a lot of activity, you know, a little ways away, but where she is right now, notice there's no people. When you're in an isolated space, if there are other people in that isolated space, you just want to be aware of them. See who's in your area and what are they doing. So seeing this guy here, he's cloaking himself pretty good, but she has to recognize she's in a vulnerable population because women are more apt for attack than men. Simple as that. Most men feel like they can overwhelm a woman. So she has to be aware of that and, and find a way to not have her back to him. Could have gone around the other side of the car, could have done several things. But now he's gonna come around this outside of her and I wanna talk about the fact that your awareness is more than your eyes. We tend to see all the time, see what's in your space, but also hear what's in your space. If she had heard him kind of going around behind her, she might have been able to avoid this attack or at least put herself in a better position. Now, I'm not saying that most women are able to fight off most men. I think it takes a very high level of skill for a smaller, less upper body strength person to fight off a larger, more body, upper body strength person, and most women don't have that. I'm not saying there are not some bad women out there who are incredible fighters, okay? Now, he's grabbed a hold of her and he grabbed a hold of that purse. And recognize in that moment that she has gone down for that, which is why I tell women, I really recommend that if you're going to carry a big purse, that you carry it crossbody. And the reason that I say crossbody is the crossbody will deter bad guys from yanking it off you like that. To kind of recognize when they see a crossbody, they can't do that. If it's on your arm, I, re I would really rather have it be in your hand than just hung over your shoulder. Because I see this happen all the time, that they get yanked down to the ground when some guy wants to grab that purse and sometimes badly hurt. Now, I do want to think about being a bystander here. These guys run off and this woman is obviously badly hurt. And this guy on the motorcycle is kind of going, uh, what do I do? Well, you got to decide if you're going to step in to help there in a self-defense encounter, but certainly somebody who's just been victimized like this and has just been knocked down like this. I mean, I don't think that I could see something like this happen and at least not go and check on that person and call the authorities and get an ambulance on the way. So make sure that you're able to break through that. You keep your first aid equipment on you. She might have needed some help with that as well. And that you have the compassion to step in there when something bad like this happens. Unfortunately, this lady was a victim. She didn't cover her ass.